Hare Krishna. So till now we have discussed how Sanjaya has described both the Kauravas and the Pandavas army on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. Now we are entering into a very very personal verse where Arjuna is going to speak for the first time. Verse number 21 and 22. Arjuna vacha senayor ubhayor madhye ratham sthapay me achyuta yavad etan rikshayam yodhu kamana vasthitan kairmaya saha yodhavyan asmin rana samudhyame It's a very, uh, very nice verse because lots of amazing things are there in this particular verse. So let's go line by line. So Arjuna is saying, Oh Achyuta! Suppose Krishna is asking what? He is saying, Me ratham sthapaya. Take my ratha. Where? He is saying, Senayor or obhaya or madhye. Between the two armies. Now Krishna, is ask, Krishna might ask, Why? Why you want me to do this now? He is saying, Yavad etan nirikshayam. I want to see what you want to see. Asmin rana samudhyame yodhu kaman avasthitan kair maya saha yodhavyam. Asmin rana samudhyame. I want to see now when this war is about to commence. At this time, who all have come with a desire to fight? That is yodhu kaman with a desire to fight, with the desire for yuddha. And also I want to see kair maya saha yodhavyam. I want to see with whom I should fight. So now, here, for the first time, Krishna is addressed by Arjuna. And he is using a word, Achyuta. Now, till now we have seen Rishikesha, then we saw Madhava, now we have this word Achyuta. So what does this word Achyuta mean? So in the purport, Shla Prabhupada mentions, he never fails, who he? We are talking about Krishna. Krishna never fails in his affection for his devotees and thus he is addressed herein as infallible. So Krishna never fails in his affection for his devotees. Never. And there is a very, very amazing relationship between Krishna and his devotees. Let's see that. You know, it's a very nice uh, line that is mentioned here. In the first paragraph itself, the relationship between the Lord and his servitor is very sweet and transcendental. The servitor is always ready to render service to the Lord and similarly the Lord is always seeking an opportunity to render some service to the devotee. Now look at the relationship of the Lord and the devotee. So the devotee wants to serve the Lord and the Lord also wants to serve the devotee. Now devotee serving the Lord, we have so many examples we know. But Lord serving the devotee, here is that example. Look at this. What is happening here in this situation? Oh Achyuta! Oh Krishna! Who is ordering? Arjuna is ordering directly to Krishna. He is saying, Oh Achyuta, Ratham Sthapayame! Take my Ratha. Where? Between the two armies. Now, direct order is given by Arjuna, a devotee, to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Srimad Bhagavatam talks about the orders of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. It says, Madhbhayadvati vatoyam suryas tapati madhbhayat varshatindro dahad agnir mrutyus charati madhbhayat So there, Supreme Personality of Godhead is saying, Madhbhayadvati vatoyam I give the order and because of my fear, vati vatoyam, the wind is blowing. Then he says, suryas tapati madhbhayat Surya is burning or is giving heat and light because I have ordered under my fear he is doing that. Varsha Tindro Dhad Agnir. So Varsha, there is rainfall. Dhad Agnir, the fire is burning. How? Under my order. I have ordered under my fear. Because of my fear this is happening. And the last line is very nice. Mrityus Charati Mat Bhayat. Why people are dying? Why Yamraj is doing this? Because of my fear I have ordered. My God. You can just imagine here. <laughs> <laughs> the person who orders all these great personalities, he is being ordered by someone. How will Krishna feel you know, when his devotee is ordering him? Prabhupada mentions this here. Very beautiful line. Krishna takes greater pleasure 
in his pure devotees assuming the advantageous position of ordering him than he does in being the giver of orders so here we understand krishna enjoys more and takes more pleasure than giving orders to others he likes to receive the orders from his pure devotees and here for the first time in bhagavad gita krishna is entering the scene normally in any movie we see how does the hero enters now as soon as the hero enters this amazing scene you know, maybe there will be some bomb blasts on both the sides and the fire on both the sides and slowly the camera will move from the feet of the hero it will go up and the hero will be angry and you know weapon in the hand and so on and so forth yes and there will be nice background music also but then here you see how is our hero entering as the charioteer he had to carry out the orders of arjuna this is how he is entering he is entering as a chariot driver <laughs> for of whose whose chariot driver arjuna's chariot driver his devotee's chariot driver this is this is the sweet relationship which krishna has with his devotees even you now we have got so many examples even in rindavan the life we see nanda maharaj father of krishna who is a devotee of krishna would tell krishna go and get my footwear get my padukas and krishna with his little little hands you know like soft like lotus hands he would pick up those uh, footwear of nanda maharaj and he would keep that footwear on his head and would walk towards nanda maharaj who is this personality whom we are talking about ishwara parama krishna the supreme personality of god and the lord of lords and every one all the great personalities in the entire universe they want to keep the lotus feet of supreme personality of godhead on their heads and here we see the supreme personality of godhead krishna he is keeping someone else's footwear on his own head here we can imagine and understand how much importance the supreme personality of godhead gives to his devotees krishna says here in bhagavad gita 18 chapter 66th verse sarva dharman parityaj mamekam sharanam vraj aham tvam sarva papebhyo moksha ishami masu cha so here krishna is telling sarva dharman parityaj you surrender on to me mamekam sharanam vraj surrender on to me but there is something hidden there and that we see in this particular verse what is that there he says surrender on to me i'll take care of you but then there is a hidden line there you surrender on to me i'll surrender on to you <laughs> that's what he's telling is pure devotees anyone who understands that how sweet krishna is that person cannot avoid falling in love with krishna and this is what bhagavad gita will teach us how to love god how to love krishna and now arjuna is going to continue order is not yet over now arjuna is going to continue one by one he is going to give orders to krishna and that's what we'll see in the next video thank you very much hari krishna